the Linux desktop is in for a very interesting future, for both window managers and desktop environments alike. So a few days ago, I saw this post over on r slash Linux, with the rise of Wayland, are simple window managers dying? And this got me thinking about sort of the future of these desktops and the future of the Linux desktop in general. So while Wayland has made way for some really cool projects like say Wayfire for example, which basically is a spiritual successor to things like Compiz, it's a great project. And while major desktop environments like say KDE and GNOME are very well established on Wayland, albeit still need a bit of work here and there, and smaller desktop environments like Mate, for example, have made a little bit of progress. And then going further down the list, places like XFCE have had some early discussions and not really much more. There are plenty of others like, say, Cinnamon, for example, that have nothing publicly planned for Wayland. But I don't use one of the pre-built desktop environments if I did. I would probably just use GNOME or KDE. Probably KDE, but... That doesn't really matter. My main interest is the little Excel window managers. Things like DWM, Awesome WM, i3, Xmonad, BSPWM. And while some of these projects like say i3 do have a drop in replacement over on the Wayland side, that being Sway, which is my personal choice when using Wayland, and others do have a project inspired by them. Say for example, DWL for DWM, River for BSPWM, Waymonad for Xmonad. There are other projects like say Awesome WM, which did have a project, but it sort of just fell by the wayside and no one really cares about it. And this is just for the big major ones that have projects inspired by them. There are so many other really cool, but not that many people use window managers out there that are just gonna fall by the wayside and are never going to work on Wayland. And sure, not that many people use them, but the reason someone makes a window manager generally is because the other window managers out there don't do exactly what they want. So almost all of them have a really weird design quirk about them that fits some very specific use case. And some of that software out there, I think is personally really, really cool. And you may think that no one would be interested in porting a window manager over to Wayland. I don't mean making a whole separate project that happens to be compatible one-to-one -one with the original project. I mean taking the original project's code base and then building a Wayland compositor around it. But while there are certainly some projects that don't have any interest in Wayland and are absolutely going to go down with the ship, there are surprisingly some people at least willing to look into it, and willing to accept work if people want to work on it. So back in 2015, someone suggested Wayland support for Awesome WM. As X will be discarded in short time, for the record this is 2015, by Fedora and Ubuntu, Gnome, KDE, etc. are being directly compatible with Wayland or Mir, or Mir, however you say it. Even with the E19 release, the Enlightenment Window Manager also directly supports Wayland. Is there any plan slash roadmap for awesome for porting to Wayland? And while the striked out response is a little bit condescending, the new response is Wayland support is going to happen, we built those abstractions. But this isn't the only window manager that's had this discussion. For example, over on Herb's Luft WM back in 2016, the same thing was asked. Is there any chance of Wayland support in the future? X is old and supposedly slow. What a weird statement to include. And it has some issues on newer systems, which I don't believe is the case. Uh, Wayland is supposed to fix issues X has, once again, 2016, and is made for the current era. It'll also fix the tearing issues X has out of the box. You can look at how Sway does it, for example. Now, both of these examples and most of the others out there start in a fairly positive manner. People discussing whether this is a good idea, how this could be approached, what you could possibly do, but they both sort of evolve in the exact same way. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have this comment here. Okay, I've had enough. Awesome WM will not magically turn into a Wayland compositor, so closing this issue as won't fix again. I already did so six years ago. 
The issue seems to attract any news on this comments. Sorry, but that's just noise. I didn't count how many. Here is a small project that tries to re implement Awesome WM as a Wayland composite of comments we had, but there were too many. Now we even get into FUD territory. I'll also lock this thread due to that last point. The FUD is probably referring to people linking to this write up here by Pro Bono titled Think Twice Before Abandoning Exorg, Wayland Breaks Everything. I've talked about this on this channel, it is very outdated, and while some of the things were relevant in the past, many of them are not relevant today. So basically, a lot of projects are willing to hear people out, but no one is actually willing to do the work. They're like, hey, when is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Which is a totally fair question, when it's asked once. But when nothing gets done, and then people start asking like, hey, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? It's not going to get anything actually done. It's just going to add a bunch of noise to the thread and make the devs not want to do it. But it's not just that people don't want to do the work. It's not exactly an easy thing to do. So this is a post from around the same time about writing a Wayland Compositor. Writing a Wayland Compositor is much harder than it should be. Don't get me wrong, I understand that over the course of its long existence, Exorg has slowly but surely become an unmaintainable mess. I understand that much of what was deemed essential when Exorg came to life, like exological font description, primitive rendering, etc., is no longer used except in very old programs. I understand the need for an X replacement, but after years of trying to write a Wayland compositor, I've come to the conclusion that Wayland is not a suitable replacement for X. X is a gigantic code behemoth, and it seems that it has led Wayland creators to err on the side of minimalism. Unfortunately, Wayland is far too minimal to actually be useful. The truth is, if you want a Wayland compositor, Wayland is just one of the several libraries and systems you have to actually deal with. You also need to deal with DRM, libinput, logindd, dbus, and the list goes on. And that's not to mention the Wayland protocol itself refused to incorporate many useful use cases, for example, screen capture, which is an extension, detecting lack of input for some time to make an appropriate action, say lock screen, for example, that's an extension. It looks as though they were not willing to add these actual use cases to Wayland, lest it would corrupt their general pure library. But a general solution that doesn't even properly solve the problems where it's normally used barely deserves to be called a solution. But not all is lost, we have WL Roots. And I don't mean to criticize WL Roots. It was made so the task of creating a Wayland compositor is actually feasible for smaller teams. I'm sure if it wasn't for it, GNOME and KDE would have been the only ones to ever implement server-side support for Wayland. There were a small other couple projects, but most other teams would be using GNOME and KDE as their base, and some desktop environments are actually thinking of doing this. But the fact is, even using WL Roots, creating a Wayland compositor is still a daunting task. Take a look at Sway's code, and you'll see how much WL Roots leaves for compositors to do. You have to take care of input and output devices being plugged and unplugged. You have to manage seats. You don't have WL Roots function to get or set the currently focused window. Hell, WL Roots doesn't even give you a type to represent graphical windows. Even using WL Roots, Wayland compositors still have a lot of non-WM window management stuff to care about. And it's not like this is some crazy idea that nobody else has attempted. Back when Wayfire was first introduced, this was actually what Wayfire was going to be. So you might wonder why start yet another project? Why not use an existing GNOME, KDE, Enlightenment, all of which support Wayland to some extent? In short, there is a need for a common base to build a lightweight but fully functional Wayland based DE with minimal effort. The long answer, because not everybody is willing to use a huge and resource intensive and for some people bloated DE, and because creating a composite from scratch is just not as easy as it may seem. Actually most of what the X server used to do is the compositor's job now. That's why porting DEs to Wayland is a challenge. Having each DE slash X window manager write their own compositor would mean a lot of useless duplicated effort. Not to mention most of them just don't have the resources for such a huge undertaking. 
W Roots actually does a great job in this respect. It provides a very flexible base for building a Wayland compositor, abstracting away many low-level details. However, it still cannot make writing compositor too simple, and for good reason. There is a lot of desktop-specific functionality that just can't go into a generic library. So with all that in mind, it makes a lot of sense why a lot of window manager devs just don't do it. Because while a project like Awesome WM may have a bit over 300 contributors, in reality, it only has maybe like a handful of core developers. Now, all of this is updating documentation, but once we get past that, we notice a couple of other names, but you're still going to notice a lot of the same names. And this is because usually these projects don't have massive teams. There is a couple of people who want to go and make one or so changes here and there, and a main line of developers that keep things actually running. And the same thing is true on Herb Look WM, but to a much greater extent. This one only has 42 contributors, and as you can see, the vast majority of things are by T. Wisman. Now, that's absolutely not to say that writing a whaling compositor with a small team is completely impossible. There are projects like River, for example, which have less overall contributors than Herb's Look WM does, but is a perfectly functional system. Then there was back when Sway was first being developed, it was mainly being developed by Drew Vault until eventually being taken on by other people and becoming this massive thing that it is today. But you can go and do this. But when you're already working on an existing environment, and maybe you're making bug fixes to that and feature changes to that, can you really take on that other work when you're probably doing this as a bit of volunteer work? You're not doing this as your full-time job. For many people, I can totally understand why they couldn't do that. But it's not like the WL Roots developers didn't know there was a problem. So back in 2019, the high-level scene API issue was created. Basically, I think we need a restricted, easy mode API that can help people do everything as efficiently as possible, all handled internally. This honestly wouldn't be that different from things like WLC or parts of LibWestern. Instead of the user handling, rendering with damage tracking, planes, and all that shit we want to add, they just say, the window goes here. I don't know how high level this really should be. Should this handle shells, drag and drop, or other complex operations? Does it even belong in WL Roots itself? Or should it exist as a layered library in its own repository? And while there has been a lot of discussion about what exactly this should do and where exactly it should be, this has been in fairly active development over the past couple of years. And fairly recently, it's been starting to make its way into the Sway codebase. It's moving out of that beta development phase into a production phase that you might actually want to build on. Even with something like this, it's not like you're writing in scratch. You still need to know how to code, but it removes a lot of that boilerplate code that you may not have a good understanding of because you're not someone who fully understands a display server. You're writing a window manager. This should be something at a higher level. This deals with a lot of that lower level stuff that you probably never had to deal with over on the X side. As I said at the start, we're in for a very interesting future on the Linux desktop, and WL Roots is helping to make that future contain window managers. And for me, I am very excited about that. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you a developer? Have you worked on a window manager, whether that be over on the Xorg side or a full Wayland compositor over on the Wayland side? I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, something bureau, pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Opton Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.